ignore that. Don't pay attention to him. That's not the real Hayden. Just remember that. He may look like Hayden. He may act like Hayden, but he is not. Okay. All right, everyone. The pants are from The Flash. The music is from Sonic. And my personality is from many factors, including, but not limited to, my social and economic status. All right. So I saw the Sonic movie, if you can't tell, and uh, wow. It was, in the words of the legendary soul musician James Brown, so good, so good. <laughs> Here's the deal. I have a lot of friends who saw the Sonic movie and they really, really liked it. And then I know some people who didn't think that way. I did not say friends that time and I want you to notice that. Um, all right, so I have had a rough couple of weeks, I wanna be honest. It's been some late nights. It's been some, uh, some interesting conversations with Siri, we'll just say that much. Um, I think it all came to a head when my roommate pulled me aside the other day and he said, hey man, are you okay? And I said, yeah, why are you asking? And he said, well, you know, I, I was woken up last night at 3 a.m. by you screaming the words and I actually wrote it down, that's why this is here, so we can read it together. He said, you screamed the words, Siri, you no body having bitch. I said, set the alarm for 9 a.m., not set a reminder for 9 a.m. Why would I need a reminder for 9 a.m.? That's what a clock is, Siri. A fucking clock, Siri. Use your head, Siri. Oh wait, you don't have one because you don't have a body, Siri. You're just a dumb robot, Siri, a dumb robot. God, 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 damn it. Siri, this is why people have androids. And so he asked him, are you okay? And I said, yeah, I'm fine. I'm doing fine, I'm doing fine, I'm doing fine. So um, I, I'm gonna talk about O.J. Simpson tonight. I'm just gonna level with you all. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. All right, so O.J., right? So O.J. Simpson, he, uh, he had a really good career for a while and then something happened. I don't know what, but something happened. Um, O.J. Simpson, he used to have this catchphrase that we all knew, the juice is loose, right? Like O.J. Simpson, the juice is loose. And I used to think that was really cool and now I think he was just bragging about the outcome of the trial, right? <laughs> I, I, here's the deal, I feel like saying the juice is loose is a really dangerous thing because the juice only got loose one time and two people died. That's all I'm saying, right? Um, all right, so here's the deal, guys. I'm a little bit worried. I'm a little bit worried because the feelings of being horny and wanting to eat a really good bowl of cereal have become like indistinguishable for me. It's, it's gotten to the point where like, I, I mean, I don't even have to see a, a, like a bowl of cereal. Someone just has to say they're great and I go, oh, hello. Like the other day, my roommate dropped a bunch of fruit and he said, oops, all berries. I said, uh-oh. <laughs> So, I am a little bit overweight, and that's, that's, uh, that's fun. <laughs> um, I'm a little bit overweight, and I, here's the deal, I wish that all of my weight was from, like, <laughs> drinking, but like in a good way, because then all I'd have to do is stop drinking and I'd be skinny, baby. So, to prepare for that, I've been on this new training regimen where I go to the gym and I run five miles, and then I go home to celebrate by drinking an entire handle full of vodka. I'm not, no, thank you. I'm not really losing weight, but I am changing the weight I already have, so, you know. Well, it's sort of like being a goalie on the losing team. I mean, you can't really make things better, but you can stop them from getting worse, right? Um, so, here's the deal, guys. I say that a lot, right? Here's the deal. Um, I, I don't think that, <laughs> I think about a lot of things. I think about a lot of things and I feel like a lot of them are a problem because they're not really things that you should think about. Like just the other night, I, uh, I stayed up for five hours 
wondering about what the world would be like if the NFL draft worked like how the army draft worked, you know? Like, okay, so picture this. You're sitting in physics class, and then in walks a man with a red letter. He hands it to you. It says U.S. government on it. Your friend goes, oh shit. You open the letter. You say, oh, I guess I'm gonna be a patriot now. He said, wait, like, what branch? Not that kind of patriot, buddy. Oh. Army? Military? Navy? <laughs> New England. <laughs> Do you at least even know what the general is? Just says Tom Brady on it. I don't know what that is. I, guess, I mean, I guess I'm a linebacker now. I love you, mom. <laughs> Anyways, that's a fun thought, right? Okay, so moving on, moving on, moving on. So I, I hate it when people use the phrase, I guess I'm just one of those people now, to like hide the fact that those people are awful. You know, <laughs> like, so there's this, this, this woman that I know, her name is Sharon. Let's, well, let's just call her Sharon because that's her real name, let's call her Sharon. So her name is Sharon, and just the other day, we were having brunch together, and she ordered wine, which is fine, because she can, I can't, but that's cool. She ordered wine, and it was around 11 a.m. in the morning, and I was like, ah, oh, that's fine. And then she said, this is my fifth glass of wine this morning, I guess I'm just one of those people now. Do you mean an alcoholic, Sharon? <laughs> You know, like, it's the same kind of people that said, you know, I'm gonna tell you a little secret, okay? Last night I had dinner, but instead of dessert, I had vodka because calories is calories, right? Sorry, I just do this thing where I like, I see terrible decisions that people are making and I point them out. I guess I'm just one of those people now. Um, so, 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 so. So, uh, I need a volunteer from the audience. Who wants to be my volunteer? Ooh, I'm looking. You. Yes. Let's give a round of applause for our volunteer real quick. Okay, so here's how this is gonna work. I'm gonna tell a few jokes about vampires, so I thought it would help if you had a visual reference. Um, <laughs> You're good, you can take a seat. Give a round of applause for our vampires, okay. All right, so, vampires. I, I wasn't kidding about the vampire thing. I actually am gonna tell jokes about vampires. So, vampires have a lot of weird things about them, right? Like, I found out the other day that vampires aren't allowed to go into your home without, like, you letting them in, which is fine, but, does that mean that normal people can go into your house without you letting them in? Like, like if you broke into your neighbor's house and then the cops were like, freeze, and you were just like, uh-uh, regular teeth. Would they just let you go? I don't know, man, I don't know. <laughs> and also, who is enforcing the rules? Is there a, like someone more powerful than a vampire out there cracking down? And if so, why are we not more afraid of them? I'm sorry, these are the things I think about, guys. These are the things I think about. So, I'm gonna end y'all tonight with a short little story about when I went to Dos Gatos. <laughs> so, don't shout out Dos Gatos, it was a bad story. So I went to Dos Gatos and the, uh, the cashier took my order and then she said 564 and I held out my credit card. She did not see the credit card. And so we locked eyes and stared at each other for a minute flat. At which point she said, so, and I said, so what's your name? And she said, 564, please. <laughs> Needless to say, I don't go to Dos Gatos anymore. Thank you all very much. You have been a fantastic time.